Hello, welcome to Strawberry Only Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Proverbs 22 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. So I am trying to live by those words this week as I do my job search. So yeah. All right. Off the hook, I don't have anything. Um, as you notice, we are in the office because I do have a couple of phone interviews set up and I had the computer set up here. So that's kind of the way it's going to go today. Uh, I don't feel like I have a lot of progress to show you, but I have made progress. Um, this is the poncho, the reversible poncho that I'm working on. Oh, I just dropped the yarn. That's okay. Um, again, I, haven't made but like half of a uh, another round or whatever and so it's just there and again you know uh, it's not anything you can see from last week to this week because I think it's only like a row or sorry dropped yarn um Maybe half a row, a row, I don't know. Uh, I picked it up a couple times, not done a whole lot on it, but some progress, if that makes sense. So, there's that one. The other one that, again, I think I've made, this one I've done a little bit more on, maybe five rows, five rows and part of a row, or four rows, yeah. And it's getting there, and again, it's just going to be one of those um, shrugs. And who knows, maybe I'll need it for my job. Don't have a job yet, but working on it. We'll get to that. Um, the one, I guess I could say the, I made the most progress on it. It just looks like it's the most progress. Is the, um, I guess, afghan or quilt or blanket or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's taken from the around the world. Um, inspiration from around the world. And I have this top. I don't have the sides for that round yet, but I have the top and the bottom. And I have been working on... Okay, so I made a mistake. It was dark, not really dark, just kind of dusky, and I was tired. And I went to get another ball of yarn. And so I needed to get blue, okay, for that next round. But in the back where I had them, I just grabbed what I thought was blue, and it turned out to be purple. So I started working on it, and I have a whole other row when I get to the purple row, plus part of one, and I've used, like, a whole ball of purple. And, yeah. So here's my purple. Here's my blue. Blue is actually what I needed, so I've got just a couple more, and I have the a row that's wrong and out of place, so it can't be attached yet. But it'll, I guess that purple row will go really fast because I already have part of it done. But anyway, let me see if I can back up here and show you. There we go. So it is getting there, and we'll see. Um, I did notice that I only have, I think, one more ball of blue, and this blanket is supposed to be mostly blue, and so I am probably going to have to go and find some more blue. <sighs> it is what it is. Um, it's just baby blue, so I, I think what I'm going to do is just take a piece with me because I don't know this just called super soft. I got it from Mary Maxim. So I don't know if I can find that exact yarn again, but we shall see. Um, it will be what it's going to be. So I have made some progress on all of the projects I'm working on right now, but not enough in a week that you can see a ton of difference. Um, the, I did even like weave in the ends here. So I only have ends on the outer 
rows that I just connected. Um, so I just have this row, the edges, and this. But if you look on the inside here, um, all of the ends are, are woven in and stuff. So I did do that too, which you guys know for me to weave in ends, there was just too many of them as I was trying to connect it. So uh, I decided to weave as I go. Different for me, but hey. Um, let's see. I have... Um, I don't have anything in the pots on the wheel. I have not started working on that stuff in the fields, the garden. So <laughs> yeah, we got a ton of rain and it actually overwatered the garden. And at one point the tomatoes started to wilt. Uh, the bell peppers did too, but the tomatoes were the worst. So now that we're not getting a ton of rain. They are looking much better. As a matter of fact, I will cut in a piece of the uh, a clip for the garden right here. Okay, so we're out here at the little garden and I hope that you can hear this because the wind is kind of blowing. You can see that the tomatoes are a little bit droopy still, but they're coming back good and strong and they have some blooms on them. The peppers, they were kind of wilted, but I think they're more wind blown than anything. The cucumbers are going crazy, which I'm okay with that. And then the okra is starting to grow. If you remember, that's what roommate wants out of this lovely little garden. And so, got plenty of okra plants coming up. I've got the four, or no, the three bigger ones. There's one, that's a cucumber. So I've got one, two, three, four, five cucumbers. That's an okra, that's an okra, and that's an okra. And then I lost one. I don't know what its deal is, but I think it was windblown. It was right there. It was a bigger one, but it is no longer there. But I've got some others coming up, so that's good. And then, of course, the zucchini. And I have some zucchinis starting on it, but... It's kind of windblown too. As you can see, it's kind of <laughs> topsy-turvy. But it's getting there. And like I said, I should have enough stuff for a salad. A decent salad. Minus the lettuce. So that's my goal. Because that's what I eat a lot of in the summer. I love fresh salad. So all I'll have to purchase is lettuce. And I'll be good to go. Okay. So that's my garden. I think it's doing okay. Um, I do have, you know a few things coming along and that's a good thing so uh rj's world um since the wreck coop has not acted right so he had her checked out by another person said she might need her teeth floated but not enough that would be making her so we're not sure if she's sore or not we've had her to two different people the chiropractor the uh vet checked her mouth. Um, she's not showing any signs of anything, but she's just not acting right. So we'll see how that goes. RJ is, is actively working on her to figure out what's going on with her. Um, <clears throat> no, we have not found out anything from Walmart about the truck that ran him off the road. It is what it is and it's not within our control and God God has this whole thing in control. I just don't feel like I have any control right now. Um, yeah. So, all right. In the farmhouse, a lot going on there. Of course, I've been kind of taking care of the garden. Uh, my idea of weeding, of course, is just to keep the weeds lower than my plants that I'm trying to grow. So I don't nitpick and keep every weed out of there. Um, I just don't let it grow past what the plants need. I have a theory on that, and that is that it helps with, I know you see a lot of these gardens, and they're tilled, and slowly they go down, erosion. I don't want the earth eroding away any nutrients in that. I think that the grass and the plants that grow there add nutrients to it. So I don't want to take them all away and just have dirt. But, you know, hey, that's just my thoughts on it. 
and don't know if it's right or wrong. So I don't worry so much about the weeds. <laughs> Just saying. Now, on that note, Memorial Day was last weekend. This is Wednesday. Uh, I spent most of my time putting in applications and trying to locate a job, which we'll get to that in a minute. Um, <laughs> so we did the yard, everything from weed eating, the trim. It, it didn't rain at all this weekend, so it kind of dried up enough that we could get out there and get stuff done. Um, the ducks have not come back, so I'm pretty sure that they've met with foul play, whether it be an animal that got them or, you know, they wandered away or I don't know. They got themselves in trouble and they're not back home. So breaks my heart. But again, it is what it is. It's not something that I can control. So, um, but on the upside, the yard looks amazing. Even the chain link fences we needed, uh, everything's trimmed out. We just, every two or three months during the summer, I try and weed eat everything so that it looks good. If not, the dogs can't th see through the fence because the grass grows so high. So especially Worm, he's short and he can't always see through. Uh, but right now is one of those times that he can. So that's good. Um, on the job front search, I, I actually went yesterday and just went and took my resume some places. And of course I was met with, we do everything online or, you know, I had a few people excited to see me. Um, one lady was really nice, interviewed me right there, made notes of my resume, um, that kind of stuff. But she was honestly already talking to two and thought she had our positions filled. So that happens. Um, the online thing, I have tried to use the, at least to locate the jobs and apply. I've tried to use things like Indeed or um, ZipRecruiter. And when I first put in all my applications that I thought I was a good fit for, um, I woke up to 133 emails, I believe. <sighs> okay, so not all of the emails were about jobs. Um, because of my age, I got stuff for AARP, filing unemployment, filing disability. Uh, if I was injured in, and I've the spam calls have increased incredibly on my phone. Um, it's really, really tough to sort through all of those online. And I wish employers knew that. So I have started pretty much just Googling companies um, that I see around and then going to their website and clicking on the careers button. So, I have two interviews set up for today and then I have one that I have to call and set up because she emailed me a packet to fill out. Not only did, you know, I found them online, I clicked on their careers thing and it said call human resources. I called human resources. She sent me a packet and I filled out that packet and I've got to get back with her today, but I can't do another interview at the times that I have the other two set up for. So I'm going to wait until after those two so that my availability is better and I can work with her schedule whatever time she wants to interview me. So, um, yeah, it is what it is and it's going. I know God is going to put me where he needs me and I have faith in that. Uh, I know that at some point, he will show me. I just have to keep doing my due diligence until I can find that spot. So um, I'm working on it. It's very frustrating. Online job searches are not easy. Uh, 
they make it sound like it's convenient and it's really not because like I said, you get more spam phone calls and you can't not put in your phone number because that's how the people, the employers are going to con uh, contact you. So then now all these spam people have um, mm -hmm. taken to calling me. So, uh, and uh, spam emails, outrageous. I had one text me today and said that he worked for a company um, and that they're interested in, let's see here. It says, good morning. Uh, I am so-and-so with the company blank. I am contacting you in regards to your resume posted online. Let me know once you get this. Uh, I Google the company as a travel company. I text him back. I have no experience in that. It says it's, he texts back. He says it's remote work from home position. Uh, I told him, I said, I don't have Wi-Fi. We live in the country and I operate off of a hotspot. Says the company will make provisions for that if employed. Okay, what's the position and where do I send my resume? Well, then he lists all these um, things and wants me to text back yes if I'm interested in any of those positions. Now, if they're work from home, it says clerical admin, data entry, administrative assistant, account services, account clerk, front desk. Reception. I don't know how you do those positions from home. Um, I really don't. Uh, it lists a website in which he said that these were listed. I went to that website and tried to look for the company in which he said, and there was no listings. Uh, I texted him back and I, and I said, I'm unable to locate any jobs with blank online therefore i can't apply for them i would be happy to apply online if you can send me a link for your posting thank you for your time and then he never said anything back so if you can't find the company you can't find them online he says he found my resume online but <sighs> the thing that really gets me is everybody says there is a shortage of workers I have applied and I applied last week to probably two dozen employees. One was available before the holiday. The interviews I have set up for today, the two were set last week. So I'm not sure that there's as much a shortage of employees as there is a lack of either time to get them interviewed to fill positions or maybe a lack of um, urgency for lack of any other word for employers to contact employees or potential employees. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I have applied to all kinds of stuff and I'm going to keep searching and God will provide me an avenue. I just don't know what it is. So I'm working on it. All right, that's about all I have for today. Um, I know it's kind of short and sweet, but when you're job searching, that's pretty much all there is. Here in about 30 minutes, I've got an interview, so we'll see how it goes, and I guess next week you'll know. I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.